Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Meta HSC Season 1 2022. Today, we're going to have another beautiful special one. But before we go to that, I'm joined once again with at Hasdaddy Slim. Amp, good to see you and welcome everybody to some good old fashioned Meta High School Valorant. And we've got ourselves a pretty good lineup of games today. We've got the Blacktown Boys High School up against the uh, Blacktown Boys High School. Can't imagine who would win that, but it's uh, Wagner 22 and Team Nova in that one. At 6 p.m. following this one, we've got John Manish Science School up against the Melbourne High School Boys. And then after that one, Glen Waverley Secondary College versus the University High School at 7 p.m. So we've got some absolutely banger games to come up this evening. And if, I guess before we get underway, and before the dog uh, completely just... <laughs> Barks down the whole place. What else? I mean, the team lines for today, and also, I guess, the map picks, if we've got them already, or the map pick for our first game as well. Yeah, look, we've, we've got Bind starting on, um, and so it's really hard to, like, you know, pick who's going to be the absolute winner, but obviously, Blacktown is pretty much going to be dominating the 5 p.m. game. So it's going to be between, between Wagon22 and Team Nova of the two. But before we do go into that, we have to give another massive shout-out to our sponsors, which is going to be Torres University of Australia, uh, Billy Blue College of Design, and MSI. So thank you very much for that. And to all the people who are joining us today, please cheer on, insert your energy for the Black Temp Wars to the rest of the games that we have from 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. And on a map like Bind, this is the solo, the classic. I can't even say it why this is classic but we're going classic mode it's going to be amazing and let's see if we're going to be seeing some different picks now that fade can also be picked freely yes that's right fade is now an available character as the players start to get their picks going in on our well other side of things but uh i guess the way that you look at it for the first game is that blacktown high will come away with a victory which one? I'm not too sure, but Black Diamond High as a whole, they will come away as a victor. So I think going into that, they've got to be feeling pretty good about it. But uh, I guess this is more just bragging rights to see who can, you know, be, who's the top class of that school team wise. And also, you know, the move towards the finals as well, because you, you can't be losing games, especially early on in the season, because it just all can come back to bite you towards the end. Mm hmm. Absolutely. So looking at the looking at the picks right here, we've got the fade lineups. Like, uh, I, I don't even know how is that Omega GJ. I'm just gonna call him GJ from now on. So like, yeah, this is gonna be very very interesting of a pick. We have the sky. We have oh, could be interesting. We have a sky and sage on the same team. Um, it's a lot more utility. It's a lot of healing. Yep, so that is going to be the correct lock, and we are gonna have a very different playstyle to what we're used to. And so looking at it, um, the way I see this is that there's a lot of flash, a lot of smokes potentially uh, to be coming in from the attacking side and on the defending side. You look at it, it's the more standard traditional play, but all eyes on GJ who is currently on that fade, looking to see if we can have, you know, uh, the difference of nightmare stuff coming in and dominate the game. Yes, absolutely. As we do get ready to get this one underway, both teams will get their buys. In themselves, we also have our big man, Mr. Temporal, who's on the camera for today. He's going to be doing all those uh, Select nice, your uh, agent. look around the map, following the players, which we do love. I mean, I'm terrible at it. Emp, I know you're, well, usually you're the one doing when we do it together. So <laughs> it's nice to have someone who is of very good quality to do this stuff for us. As we do look at the buyers coming into this one. A couple of ghosts out there for Chaotic and Claws, and also uh, Mr. Omega G, not GJ. Are we just going to call him GJ? GJ Gardner, GJ. Holmes, you know, the classic. You should go. <laughs> we'll go. We'll go. go with GJ there. Dominant Daddy. He's going to be having that half arm. Meanwhile, Frenzy on XQC. Okay, Dud. Bungie with the Ghost as well as Enix and Trissa on the classic. And a bit of half arm as well. And ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to get this one underway. Yep. So you see the Tiger just getting a little bit of info. Identifies two agents defending. But from the back, we're going to quickly get a trade, which is a good one. Meanwhile, Swangity is going to quickly go for a pickup or looking to just put a little bit more damage, a little bit more pressure onto the site. A is completely left open. One is going to be going all the way back to defender onto this execution. It is still 4v4 with the Sage still about half health with the Spike about to be well, waiting to be planted onto the site. We look around now, the top of the... Oh, well, actually, I guess we're... Are we behind the other one, I guess? Wait, it looks like... <laughs> oh, so we're not... Uh, we may have been following a completely different thing there, guys. So do a bit of an apology on that one. But, uh, yeah, so we've... <laughs> the game itself is about to start. We've got ourselves some uh, ghosts ready up in the air. The frenzies. Uh, <laughs> it's 
Spoiler alert, it does get to a 4v4, so, uh, you know, don't go go telling anyone, so, uh, we might have some, some, some information, but the game that you're seeing on your screen is getting underway here, as it's going to be the portion of the B-side here coming out from the boys on Blacktown Boys High School, up again Blacktown Boys High School, who could pick this one, but looking towards that early, Jim gets the first win of Zanzi, this will be okay, done, we'll get that trade back, leaves it in the 4v4, and Mark there on Wangani, and they've managed to rotate three over here, so a, a possibility for a rotate round there, but at the moment, the smokes just going to keep everything and everyone at bay for now towards that B side. Yeah, so currently they still have plenty of uh, playstyle to go with. I mean, plenty of executions. You're going to take one onto Exotic really quickly. And so as we go to the swing, there is going to be the trade coming in. The spike has to be re-picked up. And so there is going to be the complete retake onto the B side. So yes, they're going to quickly just deliver themselves into the site. Nice trading in, but GJ is going to be the top, the and the spike finally gets picked up right here. And um, 2v3, I think this is still okay, oh, because A is like that completely open. Yeah, Trisha starts left. to make their way over, and they do have a, enough space here. As Claus does get there, his heels going for the rest of his teammates. But Spike will go down. He's left in the 3v2 situation. As the sound is heard, and the spike rotates planted. will start to come in. But possibility for them to hold this one down. As they start bringing them in. A bit of utility left for both sides here to sort of use, but you'd feel like even in this situation where they're down to play, there's good opportunity because they can just sort of hide in areas, take their time, and it's going to force the other boys, the well, Blacktown Boys High School squad, to start pushing in and look to try and find those opening picks, and that's what they're doing, really starting to rush in, making a lot of noise in doing so. Oh, okay, so they are going to get the blind up, but Trisha is going to take Klaus down with a double coming here, and slowly the last one is also going to go down. And so, in a nice little bit of fashion, Blacktown Boys High School onto the tackle site is going to be, uh, yeah, they're going to be okay. So, judging by the way that just happened, could have been a lot worse, uh, but at the same time, I think because they were still trying to feel each other out, there just wasn't enough um, yeah, for them to be working with, especially on the pistol round. And so, a nice little bit of opportunity, nice bank, and so, the early guns come out as well. That they do. And so I believe it's, uh, from what I'm seeing at least from that one, because I'm trying to remember what the name is, because one's Team Nova and the other's Team Wanga 22, so... They don't exactly have that displayed for us too well, as Jim's going to try and get that transfer through the teleport. Zenzi, though, ready for that one, immediately puts him down into a 4v5. Okay, so here we go with two half confirmation. <laughs> hey, here we go. Nova, uh, Nova on the tanker side right here. They are going to get another execution. So the plan is come down with the Sage Royal utilization. And now there is going to be the teleport back. They are going to convert back into A. and. Um, it looks like the rest of the rotation is going to come in from Wildgun 22. Um, all four is coming back with that pistol. The classics rolling all around, trying to find something in the opportunity. But here comes the fourth flash, and this is a rough fight for them. Not really much they can do. Yeah, limited utility and limited weaponry. So, okay, Dud picks up another one there. Find me two situation. Wang the also flying up top towards heaven to put down GJ. It's left on Nova Fridge on the flank, but it is a flawless round there from the Nova squad. They take a 2 0 lead and now an opportunity in this bonus round to maybe get themselves to three. But I mean, this is the, the, the good thing here for the Wanger 22 boys. They have an opportunity to try and get this next round going. They'll have the full buy up, maybe some half armor, but mostly across the board, it'll be the full armor buys with those Vandals and Phantoms. You can see Kotic maybe going to have to do that half armor. Nova Fridge should have enough, but then again, are all the boys on the other side of things for Nova Fridge. You know, they've got those uh, Spectres out, full armor. Looking to try and maybe get some rush going early, but if they can grab this round here, Ramp, that would be absolutely huge because it's the credits they'll have for next round for buys, and it also puts the boys over on Wanger 22 in a really awkward position for their credits. Well, at the moment, that's what we call the beauty of the free round. When you get the first two, it's always going to be something that you're going to say, all right, I'm, no hands, hold back, I just want to do something, poke you out. Any vandal or phantoms being picked apart is just going to be ours for the taking. In the meanwhile, Klaus on 30 health before the DK, Dow is finally going to be able to relocate. For the moment, a little bit of pressure, he's going to get another one. And so that's already good pressure as well. Wildgun 22 looking to defend, breaks the wall, trying to find something, trying to just charge through. JM quickly gets the one, and now it's a 5v2 situation with a possibility of a quick, quick defuse. 
they have. Still trying to hold this one down for now. They've actually managed to grab a one there, but the trades come in, and it will be the round over to the boys over on the side. Wang on 22 as they grab that one there. And only losing the one player as well, so only be forced for that one rebuy. As now the Nova boys will get their full buy going for the first time in this game. So full buys up against each other. JM, it's uh, yeah, probably maybe on the Spectre, you would imagine. Because of that sort of low, if he wants to keep all of his utility. Or maybe just even keep it classic, you never know. Just in Pistols can do a whole lot of wonder in this game, but Vandals out for the side of the Nova boys there. Three of them, two Vandals for XQ, XQC, OK, Dud, and Zenzi. Uh, this becomes a very pivotal round as both teams credits. In an interesting position for both. Can be very volatile if they lose these ones early. There's going to be, again, this sort of rush up towards that B side through mid. And Dud's managed to spot Kato because he makes his way out window. That information is least now Dominic Daddy all oh, goes to the peak out there and he's left in a 1v2 as no fridge grabs that one. It's gonna be another kill as well towards B long as Klaus grabs Trisha, so a perfect start here. Leaves it in the 5v3. Okay. Um well this is the time where a lot of a lot of teams probably think about what's the best strategy to utilize, especially when you have two of your mains uh, completely put it down. So you're not gonna have the war, you're not gonna have both wars for that fact. No more healing on deck as well. And so it puts you in a little bit of predicament, right? Because it's in the reinvestment realm, you have the phantoms, you have the vandals, you, you're trying to find something to open up. But the point is, you're going to have aggression coming through your way. As the jewel is going to go into exotic, um, the rest is just going to be two more. Nova is probably looking to try to do a little bit of damage, trying to pressure through uh, Nova Fridge. And Nova Fridge doesn't really want to deal with the whole thing. They know they can just wait and just bait this one out, especially with a flank coming up. And so here is the plant trying to find something. The fakes are coming around, but no, it's going to be denied. And so that's pretty much going to be the end of that round, making this into a flawless and 2 2 round. Yeah, really, not much they could do in that situation. They lose those two early picks there. and. Even the ones that are just trying to find those 1v1 fights, but they couldn't get those going. And now the credits just looking a little bit worse here for the Nova boys. You can see that there is an opportunity at least for a couple of sort of full buys there. Zenzi can push up a bit more because he did those extra runs, but everyone else is sort of stuck around those credits. With the pistols, a couple of sheriffs, maybe the Guardian as well, possibly coming out there for Trisha. But on the other side of things, you can see the, the Wayne Gadeen 22 fellas looking pretty nice indeed with their full buy and plenty of credits to spare as well. So. They can start trying to gather a few more rounds. they are going to be very nice and DJ with that jump peak early. Don't know if he spotted that. In fact, he did. Sprays it down. Dominant Daddy takes that right through the head and right through the wall. Four to five, just like that. And Wangity with those grenades swallowing around him already down to 46 HP with no armor available. So a perfect start once again on this defensive side. Okay, here we go. Wangity also gets dropped as well. Spikes out into the open. Can be recoverable at the same time. The rest of the team can't really be doing too much. Trisha trying to find something through the Guardian. 65 health. Looking for a bait. Oh, that could have been the opportunity, but James going to grab another. Secures the spike. Rushes forward confidently. A lot of sack of platers just went through. <laughs> and the swamp, Nano. Um, pretty much a distraction. Here comes the flash. And last one, Zenza X. Slowly from the bathroom. Yeah, it's gonna be sick out. Welcome to the Nightmare Vision. That's why fate is changing up the whole meta. That she is. For the good or the better. I honestly can't say. I'd say playing against her. Uh, not a fan. But then again, that's me just not knowing actually how to play against the character. So don't take my word for it. As it will be the Blacktown Boys High taking the lead over the Blacktown Boys High. Who would have thought? You know, absolutely crazy stuff. But you can see with the buyers, you're gonna cause JM. Especially OG, G, G, GJ, GJ, that sounds going to stuff me the whole time. GJ and Claws, 7,000 credits <laughs> each, also 5,000 credits, and they've got that full buy going. And now, for the boys here, for Nova, they've got their full buy themselves, but the credits are just so low. So if they drop this one here, all of a sudden they're back on that sort of force buy with the pistols, maybe a few upgrades if they want to, but really need to make sure that they connect onto this round or at least do some major damage to force some rebuys. They'll be pretty low themselves. They're pushing towards mid there from the old dingo. Not playing the anti-flash waggity. That is actually beautiful there. Was waiting for it and Claws goes picking it out. Had one flash. Wasn't ready for that one though. And that's the pick they were after. It's a 5v4 and off that. Look to start rotating that bomb towards the A side. Or I should say spot, I've got so. your trail. Ah, one or the other. Look at this. Right now. There's gonna be the sickers. <laughs> Well, hey, look, the Seekers gets used, trying to bait everything out, and looks like it's working. As rotation does come out, but because of the blood gets dropped, Never Fridge is going to come down. The Swamp also comes up. 
you're going to cut them off effectively, but not enough to deter the whole uh, situation. So all five members are going to rotate through because of the far plant. The rest, 5v4, they finally make it back. They have a position, not going to see anything. Lots of smoke. Uh, the reset up is good, but the showtime is going to just find the one but it's going to be traded as well, unfortunately. And at this second, Wagon is finding themselves in a little bit of predicament and trying to recapture the whole site. Yeah, they've also got the lineups as well for that spike if they want to hold them down over the fridge. Will be dealt with there, and well, so will Zenzite. They put away K Kodak, and now three apiece. A nice round there. They get that opening pick, and they can work off it there. To the Nova guys, three all after six amp. No one taking a backward step. The rebuy will come back in, so once again we'll have the full rifles and ammunition on both sides of things. But uh, the old, I mean, everything's even. Three ults for both teams, rifles across the board. You could not ask for too much more in this situation right now. It actually rhymed. <laughs> I, was, I was actually waiting for you to go a little bit more and, you know, just delivering <laughs> some more brutal. That's your, that's your like... thing. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. okay. Would, I would, okay. wouldn't steal it away from you. <laughs> well, hey, look, a little bit of an exchange right here. And Exotic is going to be taken down by Wangri. Now, this is a brief reopening at the same time getting super aggressive Klaus flashes come straight out from the teleporter and it's going to be traded instead so this is the whole map being opened up 4v2 situation there is going to be the lockdown and also there's going to be rifle available another fridge unfortunately doesn't get a choice to make and so gj stuck in b they're going to come and deny him he quickly throws out the seas, trying to find something to haunt, but like, uh, yeah, one good he pushes with a triple kill. Uh, not much we can say at this situation, but both sides is still looking pretty prime. It's just that last little bit of execution coming from uh, the side of Wagon 22 is that they got really offensive and they were punished for it. Yeah, they lose that opening pick and they try to regress off that. Claw's actually really got a nice pick through the telly, but again, was just traded out. And unfortunately, they just lose those 1v1 jewels and there's no chances for trades. And off that, they'll still have enough buys for pretty much fools. Nova Fridge is going to be a bit shorter on the Sheriff and that half armor. But everyone else is going to have the full ones out. Phantoms and Vandals, meanwhile. Also for Wang and 22, they're going to have that. And okay, K-Exotic, well, he's been trying to get those aggressive ones. And it's a really tough one when you're playing that Brim. You don't have that flash. You're just hoping to try and find those early pieces there. And... Unfortunately, taking down again because he's peeking into a 2v1 and no chance for a trade. So, no, after initially losing a lot of those early fights where they were caught off guard. They're just absolutely capitalizing on everything right now. Another two right there. Bombs or Spike will be going One down on eight. Remaining. And Trisha finds claws and all of a sudden it's left all onto the kill door. Nova Fridge. They've just been spotted as well. Get away with that. But just such a rough round here for them. Well, not much they can do at the moment. Nova Fruit is going to take one, uh, which is good, but at the same time, trying to take out Wangani, they're just playing peekaboo with each other. They know where he is. Oh my god, as soon as he just touches anything, Wangani is just like, yep, right there. That's exactly the aim I needed to take the L5 to 3 right now. Uh, the rebuy is still going to come through, but not in the greatest form, so there is going to be, oh, well, a little bit of a triple, triple, four, let's just say three and a half. No? No, no, no three and a half? Yes. Four and a half. Okay, we're gonna go with a four and a half buy here. Okay, never mind. We are gonna have to regress, but uh, losing out onto the full armor right here for two posts for Klaus and JM. But it's okay because you know these two having the primary carries, they should be able to go for a nice trade. Uh, but the defensive position three two, they are trying to make a mix and play match into the current play, and B is just going to be fully stacked and pressured. Yeah, looking for that B split. As they go, just starting these ones up. Trisha trying to find that angle. It's going to go off it for the time being, but... Excuse me. Okay, Dud. First one to go in. That flash available. Running towards the back. Can't find anything there, but Wangley's also jumping on as well. They found Chaotic. They only find one more, and... Well, GJ manages to grab one. Wangley gets the trade, and it's also going to be a revive as well. So 5v3, just like that. And now, this, well, it's a difficult decision here. Do they go for this one with limited credits going into next round, or they just to save the three rifles? And they maybe they can force some stuff up there, but they're getting pretty aggressive towards it early. Nova Fridge, and in fact, they've actually got the Defender Killjoy ult, so they might actually try this one out. 
It will force a lot of these players off the angle, so that is available for them. Flash going out there from Claws. He tries to run on, find the first one. The XQC OK darts. There's an opportunity, and while Wagon is trying to get away, grabs that. Zenai will get the trade back, so they keep themselves standing. in with the advantage. And Dominic Daddy grabs it, and now all of a sudden left on Nova Fridge. It was a nice attempt at the retake, but he's left in a really awkward position now. Might find Dominant Daddy, but he's found himself a second in the round, and that's going to be six on the board here for the guys over on the side of Nova. And, well, they're just uh, running pretty nicely right now. Well, we'll take running. We'll definitely take running uh, because you get to edge out onto this. You get to reset the economy. Yeah. Right now, you see another fridge able to afford. Uh, GJ probably yeah. also can be. But if he does want to stick with a shoddy, that's uh, completely fine with us. We'll, we'll take that any day of the week. Uh, but no, he's going to just yeah, yeah. ditch it. Look, at this second, 6 to 3, probably not much you can do. There's going to be an eco run coming out from Wagon 22, and they are looking to try to maximize themselves. They have gambled on a lot of these defenses. It hasn't really paid off for them, especially in the expensive round. And so on the back foot, the back end, they have three ults against the four. They can use it to counter, which probably might be ideal onto a plan if they guess right. And so here we go. There is going to be the blind being thrown, and they are going to secure the site with a wall for a quick plant. Meanwhile, there's going to be the rotation 5v2 in this round. Probably nothing that you can really go with. Well, limited utility and limited funds as well. So Nova's going to spot out one of those first ones there. And all oh, noses is Wangity up the top. This could be an opportunity. Wangity's down to half health, but he's already found JM. And while he jumps down, and will be the reveal on quite a number of players through that fade utility, but still. Not the weaponry. DJ does have this one available. Sends out the Prowler right close. It could be an opportunity there. They find the trades at least, but Dominant Daddy is there for the last two and holding this one down nicely. A bit of damage done at least to force a few rebuys there, but I mean, for the guys over on Nova, they are rolling at the moment. Seven, and that makes five on the trot after initially winning the first two. And Well, being down three to two, but they've just been winning out these gun rounds. Imp in, uh, well, pretty nice style. They're getting the opening picks on the site. Working into their perfection, and even when the Wanganin guys do get some retake stuff going, it's just falling flat as their full buy does come back in. But I need to have a couple of these start to hit. We've got another two rounds left in the half. If I can grab four, at least it'd be nice. But even nine to three, you got the curse. Anything's possible. <laughs> Uh, I think the 9-3 curse actually did happen. Was it Evil Genius or was it Team Secret? I can't remember. I was watching one of the C games. So, as we have this 7-3, 4 round difference, this possible Exotic is going to jump down. Oh my god, my Domino Daddy is going to put him to the ground. And so, here comes the Secrets one more time. And so, they're going to find a target. Yeah, they quickly expose this. And uh, yeah, Klaus not really long for this role. Same as GJ. A triple kill for Domino Daddy. He's just been able to put it with so many people. So here comes Oz trying to secure the site. There's going to be the flank possibility to take out. But there's going to be the war to delay JM into the pig. So as he wants to do anything, he can't really go for a one on three situation. He is slowly working his way through. He gets the one, but instantly gets taken down by uh, XQC. Uh, so yeah, yep, very nice. The, re the real one, I reckon. The real one. He's taken, he's <laughs> taken a break from doing the gambling streams and he's joined some Valorant, which is fantastic uh, to see right there. Is, uh, well, 8-3, to three, and this has just been an absolute turnaround for the guys over now. I mean, they've just absolutely run away with this half at the moment. Six on the trot, and a chance to find the ninth as well, as they'll buy whatever they can here, Wangadeen. Those ones there. So, I mean, the half armor buys with a few ones. You see a Guardian and Ares and also just, uh, you know, the nice rifles. But then Trisha's got herself a judge, so they're looking to try and get some aggression there, at least towards a bathroom. Zelly's not going to be sitting towards that one. Does have the rifle on the ground, though, so it has to have one able easily to trade off. They're trying to find a fourth here, trying to give themselves something to work with into this second half. I mean, three's not bad, but you'd like the fourth. Don't want yeah. Daddy leading themselves sort of towards that B-long position. They've been the battle stage so far, picking up some nice two and three Ks throughout this first half here. As Mr. XQC himself starts to make his way through Get this apartment's way. area. We'll destroy that first bit of Nova Fridge's utility. And off that just starts to fall away slightly. And oh, Trish has found one. And just as they start to rotate from K-Exotic, Dominant Daddy jumping out from B-Long. And this is all just part of a nice distraction here. Three players still stuck to that site while they start making their way towards A. Okay, Seekers also has identified um, potential targets, but Klaus doesn't really have any backup right this stage. Even though he knows where they are, it is still one on four situation. Uh, and so, well, as Dominant Daddy on, is going to keep most of the bulk of the chunk uh, on the defensive side, they can't really be. Oh, never mind. They have made their way out, but it is still a little bit too late as the ults are already being utilized. And so. 
the, the problem is this, right? You have to be executed, but you're being blooded. Zanza X is gonna put that theory onto it. Number three slowly from heaven. Has to deal with the black storm. And even with a whole uh, spray down, there's just nothing they can do. So now, 9 3. Is it time for the 9 3 curse to finally activate? Or will it be a one sided show for Team Nova? Oh, they've been running the show after initially going down 3-2 to two earlier in the half. Running away with this one right now is Stone and Danny getting mm -hmm. the, well, kills at the moment. 12 there. We're going to with 11 as well. So we do see some nice old replays from that uh, first half there. And just how things were done. Well, as we can see, we're, well, yeah, these are fantastic replays. These are just showing the score. But there we go. There's some stuff. There's some highlights. There's JM doing a bit of shooting, you know, breaking that ice wall and that was just sort of the story was, um, unfortunately, they just couldn't really get into the sides. They were just losing the players early on there. They were forced into sort of these long retakes as we get back into the action. Only playing close to those boxes there. And, oh, we're going to spot all pretty much players pushing up for that one. Trying to go for that quick headshot. We'll be able to dash away, though. Seems like the A side is where the Mangadeen guys want to go. They're going to start off with that flash there. Okay, but they're pushing well. And then Mike in the first one to bar from GJ finds that. So Trish has fallen. Gives him an opportunity on towards the side. Now there's a lot of pressure onto the others. As Enzo, he's going to be caught off guard. Not ready for Jam to start pushing in there. And it's going to be another one as Mangadeen falls over Fridge. Dominic the other gets the K Exotic, but already a 4v2. And he's being pushed on. Claws grabs another. And it's all oh. left on Dominic Daddy, who was not ready for Jam to start pushing up. A knife kill there. Oh, that is some intentions for the Wangadeen boys, and that is a lovely start to this half. A bit of extra credit as well, because you get that uh, nice little knife kill across. That's probably one for the highlight reel for them. Dominant Daddy probably doesn't want to see that one anytime soon, I would imagine. Uh, especially when he's been the primary carrier with XQC uh, and Wangadi. So, uh, really nice execution. It looks like Wagon22 has once again done it. Uh, in the beginning, they win the pistol and they also wants to respond with Spectres. But now, hey, look at this. There is going to be the cross by. Um, okay, I guess they just want to quickly take the shorties out and just make them pay. Uh, I'm a fan of this. I will take it because this is a lot of like low range, but. As we say that, yep. the rest of Wagon 22 is all going to stack back into A where no one is even guarding. Yeah, just an unfortunate rotate there. If they'd walked into that one, there was a lot of danger that could have come with it. But now the A site pretty much completely open. They'll be able to clear this one out as Trisha might get marked, but at least reveal that they're sort of towards that heaven position. And JM already starting to push up. My fun first there, he does. Enzo falls. Now, this is the problem, yeah, because they've got the shorties. You can't really take these long-range fights, but that's all you're really going to get. It's XQC. Okay, dude. He'll be found pretty early there, trying to destroy that sentry at least, but Claws will put him away. Now it's all left on the two. He might have an opportunity here. With that short, he gets the headshot. Dominant Daddy's found one at least, trying to get that revive and go for the gun, but OG is waiting in there. And Trisha, they're doing a bit of damage at least, but blinded up. Claws will finish it off. So five to nine, first two rounds on the board there. All the Wanganeen boys and... Well, that'll give them an opportunity here to find themselves possibly a six, or they have this bonus round, so you wouldn't imagine they'll force up too much, although I say that. There are a couple of rifles, so you're playing with fire there, if they do push with that one, but as you can see now, just uh, just dialing it back a bit. You know. Want to keep those 2,000 credits at least, you'd imagine. Yeah, I mean, like, you do want to, you know, save a tiny little bit, so the free run gets able once again, and Wagon22 looking to take it over Nova. 9-5 now is doing a little bit more solid. If they convert this one, next one they're looking to be a tiny more better into the winning perspective, something that they can start to compete with. At the second utility-wise, they are going to be okay dealing with the current situation. Klaus slowly looking through short, not really going to find anything at the second. The information is not on deck, but on the side of level 22, they have picked out B. It doesn't really have too much at the second, so you can see the over-rotation coming through. Um, they pretty much guess that this is going to be a B execution. Uh, oh, sorry, A execution. Uh, it just depends on what kind of uh, more situation they're going to be getting. The information is solid. And so, look at the advances of both sides. You can see the Viper already coming in with a positive aura of trying to find something. And there's going to be a stack booster on Wangity. Um, and they've set themselves up nicely for a blind potential opening on bathrooms. That they might, but 
They've still got the three players sort of booked towards this area on the A side, so the start pushing in could be a lot of trouble. And JM doesn't check the corner completely there, he's going to be found out. No, GJ gets the initial spray through, but Wangity responds by getting him completely out. Trish is also going to get claws as they start to make their way back towards the B side. Next he's here, Dad. He's already rotating towards this. He's going to hear all of this right now. He knows where they're coming from. Trisha just goes through the teleporter and puts them away. A 3k in the round and a big response there from the Nova guys. Was against the bonus guns, but oh, not too bad at all. So we have a look at that one there. So they start to rotate back along that way. Oh, well, I guess not. No, we don't get to see that. <laughs> it looked good. There was, a, there was a slight bit of something happening there. It was all coming together. Maybe, maybe later. You never know, but... 10 to 5, this is exactly what they're after there. And this is kind of the problem now for the boys over on the side of Wangadin. They, they got those initial two rounds there. And now the buy is sort of a bit all over the place. Three rifles, which are good news, but then you've got a Spectre and a Sheriff with no armor. So they're going to get these uh, picks on towards the site. They'll need to find them early here. Now they need to just hope that the boys over on Nova just push into them. Well, slowly they are gonna just wait for this kind of a response. Remember, the tackling side, Wagon 22, they are being put into a corner right now. If they drop this round, next one, probably gonna be back onto the eco. Uh, currently, we're dealing too much. Oh, that pick from Trisha, what a tap. Instantly puts down JM, and now Exotic onto the side of the one man with the sheriff. Doesn't really have anything else to go for, and now being backed up by GJ. Slowly, he's gonna utilize as a potential bait. And yeah, they're gonna go into the site. Doesn't really find anything to deal with Dominant Daddy. He's just gonna retreat when he the slide. Finds that one. No, it's okay, no problem. Let me just heal myself. There's a slow orbs. But yeah, quickly disables everything of utility. Gets a spray down, but only gets the one. Meanwhile, two down onto the side of Nova. And so an opportunity is to be oh. open, but one get his quickly pull exotic down. Yeah, he just got the Molotov off at least, but as he went to do that, sprayed through that smoke and now. GJ stuck in towards the side is in a real awkward position as they start to collapse from main and also market heaven area. GJ could be able to find one. The noise is all putting towards it. Wangan is going to find him and now it's all left on the Nova fridge. The few starts to come in. There's a smoke close as well. Trisha doesn't check that one close. It's all an opportunity but Zenzai firing through. We'll find Nova fridge as that smoke just dissipates and 11 to 5. And we'll be Nova finding themselves two in a row now. And just two away from closing this one out. And unfortunately for the guys over in Wangan, they don't particularly have the money Amp, for this round. The buy is going to be pretty short, you'd imagine. Although, I say that, a few of the players are good. This is the thing again. They've sort of, again, you've got the rifles for a few players, Spectres if you want to. But then everyone else is sort of in this awkward position. So do your full buy, do you go pistols? And it looks like they're just going to sort of go that half. So enough to realistically do something, but... Also just saving for that full buy. So they might be just thinking, well, we're going to try and bring this all the way back. Seven in a row. Unless they can find something here with these Spectres and slightly upgraded pistols. Well, Exotic is going to just get the one loss of information. So there is going to be the whole full rushing out, playing aggressive without identifying. There's going to be a round of code. They actually don't care what's going to be the consequence. Oh my oh. God, that is a big consequence right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, never mind. So, they are going to be put down, but the spike is going to be planted at B. 3v2 situation. It is still an opportunity. And this is Back such a standing. funny place to be, as Zenzai is going to go down as well. 1 or 2 with Trisha, who is quickly going to just ult up. Trying to find something, trying to bait the players back in. Wagon well, 22 looking to respond. Oh, the gun! The gun barrel was actually showing. And so, um, trying to bait something out. There's going to be the nano. Uh, quickly disabled, but it is still a rather tough situation for him to be able to defuse. As he misses that spray there, it's bumping away, and still there's so much utility left. They start pushing through Nova. Fridge will finish it off. And the slight force on the pistols and spectres pays off in dividends. There's Nova Fridge. We'll get away from that blast as it goes off just as the timer starts to fall away. And now they've got themselves a nice little buy on top of that. Some extra credits as they get those vandals and also phantoms picked up from the previous round. And, well, now it's Nova. Find themselves in a bit of an awkward position with their bite. Zenzai has enough to force up with a phantom. Full armor, full utility, but everyone else sort of stuck in awkward position. Sheriff, Shorty, yeah. a judge. And also, maybe a Frenzy, possibly, but it looks like it might. Yeah, well, there's one Frenzy. Another Sheriff there on XQC. Okay, Dud, but 
Again, they're trying to get aggressive towards mid. Didn't work too well last time, but now with the lesser buy, there could be an opportunity for it. Dominant Daddy finds that one. K Exotic, he finds the trade, but XQOK okay, Dart gets the immediate one back. And now 6 to 11, and some rifles to pick up. Mike's still with them there, but this is a huge opportunity to grab themselves a 12 and the push in there. All oh, claws have to be careful with the flash up. He flashes himself, still manages to get away with it and almost grabs a second there. But oh, JM coming in with the ultimate, a huge opportunity. Esco Dud gets the trade back though, and now it's at 1v1. Still a minute left on the clock. Spike stuck out in the open. And he has been spotted as well as I can jump towards him. There should be a push in there for GJ. Can't quite hit it. But he's got that information, 55 seconds, and what a battle it was towards that mid-side. We'll be able to get the plan through. This is m so massive in the context of this game. <laughs> I gotta say, that was the battle of uh, the tiger against the nightmare. Jeez, it's, uh, it's like the dream within the dream, right? And so we now have finally found the balance between the two. So... XUC slowly trying to work his way out, um, knows that the spike is at A, but doesn't know the position of GJ. So the the plant is just going to be this okay. right in front of him. He has to go for it, otherwise, um, yeah, pretty much. Well, I think he's out of time right now. He can't really be sitting to the spike anyway. He's trying to lure one out to go for a potential trade, but little, yeah, I think he's just going to have to go through teleport. Yeah, there's nothing he can do. Nope. And, Oh, well, GJ is going to make sure that he stays behind, uh, you know, to give his life for the cause. But, you know, that, that's that's an eco round, guys. I hope you know. The defending side was actually on an eco, and they forced a rather, well, uh, deficit into the economy of Wagon 22. Rebuys will come back in, but it's enough for now. They'll take that. So they've got those rifles up again, and... Well, it's the rounds that are important. 7 to 11 now. There's no over force up themselves. A couple of judges out for Trisha and Wangadee. So they're looking to try and get some close quarter stuff. Early on there is again. It looks like they want to try and hit A early. And Trisha's got themselves in that position up close. Not looking to burst in towards that one again. There's been a lot of fights towards that sort of A middle area. And it hasn't particularly gone well for either side most of the time. But Dominant Daddy finds that first one there. A huge opportunity for a pick. A second as well. As GJ puts them down, but now Trisha trying to push on top of that. Will be taken down there from Exotic. So back to a 3v3, oh, but XQC, okay, Dud. This is a huge flank coming behind. So his position will possibly be revealed now. As those Seekers go there. And now they're swinging to the A site now. Exotic with the Molly off to the side there. And they should be able to get this spike planted, you would imagine. Taking their time just to clear out the areas, but that will go down. A 3v3 retake. Let's see who can win out round number 20 here, and Wangadee starts it off perfectly. Oh, as soon as we get that, oh, the knife gets reset one more time. And now it's 2v1 situation. Cloud slowly trying to work it out. Wangadee, that is too sharp. The knives are too clean. And that is a big triple kill off that Blaze Storm. 4 to 7. Five rounds advantage to lock Match away to nice first game. And so, if you're here to achieve a Wagon 22, it is time to give them some more extra energy they solely need to make that uh, Spirit Bomb in order to get those five rounds back. However, if you are Nova to win, so um, just keep on cheering, you're doing the right job. Uh, <laughs> but we do go back to the credits. It's not looking too good on the side of Wagon 22. Um, they just have to buy whatever they can to force this one back out by the last minute utilities and even the minor armor just to invest. And that's pretty much going to be it. Yeah, not exactly the best buy for them to saying that, but possibly just enough. But excuse me, okay, Dud already finding that opening kick. And they just really wanting to push in towards this. Counter gets a trade back, but Zenzai immediately with that one puts it into a 4v3 situation. And they've really just put everyone in towards that A mid push, and it's forced them back here. And Trish is already coming up through that spawn as well. Judge out. Was spotted earlier, but it has to force them over towards B long. They're just going to have to take these fights. You'd imagine this is Trisha pushing in. Wendy grabs one, but Diamond and Daddy with the trades bag. Zenzai gets the final one, and that is going to be all she wrote. 13 to 7. Nova will get this one done. A pretty close one in the end. As they start to bring her back in those later rounds, but just unfortunately not enough time. Left themselves a bit short after that 3 9 half. But still, pretty quality game from both sides. And, uh, well, who would have thought Blackburn High School? I mean, they, they're the winner. One of them's the winner. Mm. So, so if you're a Blackburn High School supporter, you still come out with the wins, you know? So it's it's a, it's a plus all round for everyone, I reckon. But uh, I guess bragging rights are going to go to the guys over in Team Nova.
Yeah, well, look, Team Nova is pretty much going to be celebrating their victory combined for Blacktown High School. Uh, very well done effort. And of course, um, it wasn't like too much of a one-sided. Obviously, we had the two opening picks coming from Wagon 22 on both the sides. Uh, and so they kept on winning the first two pistols, but weren't able to convert the bonus into the gun round. So there was a little bit of economy game that was uh, suffering for them. But at the same time, look, you know, that's just where you got to work on for the oncoming games, trying to get yourself better and to climb up, you know, the rest of the games and make yourself uh, even more proficient to that. Uh, I think the highlight for me was definitely when you came down to the fade versus... Uh, <laughs> versus oh, I can't even say it. It's a nightmare versus a dream, all right? I, I saw that one. I thought Sky versus Fade was pretty uh, interesting of an exchange. Both sides can do a lot and uh, seize control of each other. Um, and so we do have that first game now concluded. Um, absolutely amazing stuff coming in from Blackton High School, displaying the talent for both sides. Guys, if you haven't followed the current Meta channel, make sure to follow twitch.tv forward slash Meta HSE and Meta HSE 2, where we'll be streaming all the games coming from League of Legends, uh, from Valorant, and of course to Rocket League. So if you do want to keep on watching this and supporting, make sure to you know, drop that follow, make sure everyone hears that you're going to be competing in live on stream to be commentated, and so we will grow even more high into the next season. With that being said, we are going to cut into a quick BR be for the next game at 6 p.m. between John Monash Science uh, School uh, against Melbourne High School, which is going to be a bang and a half. So don't go anywhere, and we'll see you very, very soon.